Well, happy Friday, my friends. I'm here to talk about this beautiful steelbook edition of John Carpenter's The Thing, which finally arrived from Arrow Video. I've been waiting for this one for an entire week, but uh, sometimes they get delayed, but it's finally here. Before I get into talking about The Thing and this beautiful new Steelbook edition, I want to mention another classic horror movie that's getting a fantastic restoration. Dario Argento's Suspiria is getting a brand new 4K version from a company called Cult Films. So I'm going to link you to the trailer right here. You can check it out in full 4K. And I also want to link you in the description to uh, where you can sign up if you want to crowdfund the Steelbook edition of this beautiful film because the Steelbook edition is the only one that's going to include the 4K disc. So if you want the actual 4K disc of Suspiria, uh, you have to sign up via the link and it goes live on October 30th very soon. So check that out, please. Uh, look at the trailer and please sign up in the link in the description because I'm definitely going to be signing up for that one. Anyway, finally here today is this lovely steelbook edition of The Thing, John Carpenter's fantastic horror remake. Uh, one of the most beloved horror movies of all time. I know it's certainly one of my favorite horror films ever made and just one of my favorite films ever made to be honest uh, I, I think i've said it before i love ridley scott's alien but if someone were to say you have to choose between alien and the thing i'm picking the thing man um this is this is my jam and i think one of the only reasons i can say that is because the thing is a film that grabs my attention from frame one straight away bam that's how fantastic this film is. Alien takes a while to get going. Alien is still a fantastic film, don't get me wrong, a masterpiece. But the thing just grabs you straight away. Fantastic film. If you haven't seen this already, you have to see it. And uh, no time like the present with this beautiful restoration. The thing has been released on Blu-ray several times before. But this is the only version that has been meticulously restored in 4K uh, from a 4K master, I should say. It's not a 4K disc. This is a Blu-ray disc, obviously. But it's been very, very meticulously restored. And John Carpenter and uh, director of photography Dean Cundy were involved in the process. So this is as good as the film has ever looked. And besides that, there are a bunch of new fantastic uh, special features on this thing. So I'm actually gonna check those out, read those out for you. Uh, first off, just look at this steelbook here. There were a couple of different versions of the thing this time around from Arrow Video. They announced the steelbook edition, a limited edition box set, and uh, those two ended up being so popular that their website crashed uh, within a, just a few minutes, I think. So uh, I, I was actually lucky enough to be able to go to Amazon.co.uk and uh, pre-order this Steelbook edition. And I'm really happy with this Steelbook. This is the one I wanted. Uh, I collect Steelbooks. I love the artwork on this one. I don't really have the room for a, uh, another big box set. I'm trying to make room, trying to get rid of some stuff. But this is the one I really wanted. Because it matches my Halloween edition, which is also a lovely Steelbook. So. The demand was so high that they said, all right, we're going to make a standard edition too. So they also made a standard edition so that everyone who wants to grab the thing from Arrow Video can do so, at least in some way. Maybe you won't be able to grab the limited edition, but maybe you can at least grab a regular single disc edition. And I think that's really cool of them. Beautiful still book here. It's got the classic Drew Struzan artwork there on the cover. Uh, I think I mentioned this in another video, but the story about this artwork is pretty fascinating, actually. The uh, assignment to make this artwork just dropped in his lap one night. I called him over the phone, Drew Struess, an amazing poster artist. He did all the famous posters in the 80s, like Indiana Jones and Star Wars and all manner of beautiful posters. But they call him up one night and they say, Hey, you know that uh, 1950s movie, The Thing from Another World? I said, Yeah. Said it's a remake of that movie. Make a poster for that. Then they hung up the phone. That was it. That was the only instruction they gave him. And he painted this beautiful, beautiful, classic horror movie poster over the course of one night. 
without any reference. He didn't have any photos. He'd ha he hadn't seen a second of the film. Hadn't talked to anybody. They just said, it's a thing from another world. Do that. I thought that was a pretty fascinating story and all the more impressive considering uh, the constraints he was under to come up with such a fantastic poster. Anyway, uh, gorgeous cover here. There's the spine. And here's the back. Man is the warmest place to hide. Very nice. Minimalistic and really beautiful. I'm actually going to be reading off the entire list of contents here. Limited edition steelbook packaging featuring original artwork. Brand new 4K restoration from the original negative. Supervised and approved by director John Carpenter and director of photography Dean Cundy. High definition Blu-ray presentation. Stereo 2.0, 4.1, that's interesting, and 5.1 DTS HDMA audio options. Optional English subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing. Brand new audio commentary by podcasters Mike White, uh, Patrick Bromley, and El Goro. Audio commentary with John Carpenter and actor Kirk Russell. One of my favorite audio commentaries of all time, the one with... John Carpenter and Kirk Russell, it's so good. And it's so much fun to listen to, just the best. They have so much fun. Love those guys. Uh, Who Goes There in Search of the Thing, an all new documentary produced by Ballyhoo Motion Pictures, exploring the history of the thing from the original novella to John Carpenter's terrifying science fiction classic, featuring new interviews with the cast and crew alongside authors, historians, and critics. 1982, One Amazing Summer, an all-new retrospective documentary produced by Ballyhoo Motion Pictures about the unforgettable film released in the summer of 1982. John Carpenter's The Thing, Terror Takes Shape, archive documentary on the making of The Thing, featuring interviews with John Carpenter, Gert Russell, special effects makeup designer Rob Bottin, Matt artist Albert Whitlock, and other cast and crew. That's a great documentary if you haven't seen that already. The Thing, Terror Takes Shape, really cool documentary, check that out. Uh, no Thing Left Unsaid. I see what they did there. The Thing 35th Anniversary Panel filmed at the 2017 Texas Frightmare Weekend featuring director of photography Dean Cundy and actors Thomas Waits, Keith David, and Wilfred Brimley. The Thing 27,000 Hours, short film tribute by filmmaker Sean Hogan, viewable with optional audio commentary with Hogan and Arrow Video podcast hosts Sam Ashert and Dean Martin. New produced fan featurettes. Annotated production, archive, outtakes, trailer, fully illustrated collector's booklet containing new writing on the film by Violet Luca. So yeah, that gives you an idea. Pretty packed, this thing. So it's going to be really interesting to dig into all this stuff. Also going to uh, open this up and uh, have a look at the disc inside. There's your disc artwork. And here is the booklet. Here's the artwork in the back. There you go. Opening the, we're seeing the uh, block of ice, which the creature has escaped from. And there is your brand new booklet, which comes included. Just gonna browse through this one pretty quickly. Uh, Arrow Video always go all out on their Blu-ray releases. They are just such a fantastic company. And they really make... Uh, not just like cool special editions, but they're almost making like... These are feel almost like archival... Like these editions should be preserved for history, you know what I mean? Here's some information about the restoration. You can pause this and read it for yourself, but if you're interested in that, there you go. Yeah. Um, what else can you say about the thing? The thing is a masterpiece, in my opinion. This is just quite simply one of the greatest films ever made. Um, and it's a remake of that, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if I've seen the entire original film uh, the thing from another world but I I'm, I'm uh, I've got it uh, waiting for me so I'm gonna check it out very soon uh, what I think is most impressive about this is the fact that uh, it's got such a fantastic combination of atmosphere and suspense mixed with gory bloody you know overt horror uh, there these two 
very, very different tones that come together in this film, but they do so perfectly. I actually think that John Carpenter's approach to this film helps it a lot because he's got this very interesting approach to filmmaking, which is on the one hand, he, he's, he's creative, he's uh, a daring artist, he's very good with the camera work, and he, he's, he, he has a vision and he knows what he wants to achieve uh, on camera. But on the other hand, he, he's got a very sort of working class ethic. He's very, uh, you know, he's very down to earth. He, he, he's got that style, which is like, it's, it's both very grounded and very real and honest, but it's also very artistic. It's hard to explain, but it's like, it's like nothing else. And I just love that about it. It's like he makes uh, blue collar films into an art form, I guess you might say. So yeah, uh, just a fantastic, fantastic film. Every single scene is expertly crafted and it's really, I think it's really ultimately, um, you know, a masterpiece of suspense and paranoia, really. And that's what I find really fascinating about this film. Just the paranoia that's present in this is just fantastic. Uh, I was also going to mention that uh, if you're a fan of John Carpenter, uh, he just released a, a new album called Anthology, which is a re-recording of all his classic movie themes, which is interesting. He went back and we recorded all of his classics, uh, so you can listen to brand new versions of his classic movie themes uh, recorded in 2017. Pretty cool. It's really cool. I've listened to it a couple of times, and it's really cool to hear all those classic songs reinterpreted for 2017. If you haven't heard them already, also check out his albums Lost Themes, uh, Lost Themes and Lost Themes 2. Uh, really cool albums released just a, just a couple of years ago. Um, so. The man is still busy, still making music, and uh, he's going to be scoring the new Halloween film, which will star Jamie Lee Curtis. So that's, wow, uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'm cautiously optimistic about that. I, wanna, I want to believe that it can be really good. There's a lot of talent involved. I hope it lives up to the legacy. All right, well, that was my look at the new steelbook version of the thing from arrow video this is sure to be a beautiful beautiful edition uh, can't wait to check out the actual remastering job on this because it's i'm sure it's gonna just leap right off the screen uh the, there's nothing wrong with the old blue race but i hear that this is painstakingly remastered and uh yeah just can't wait to check that out. And all the new interesting bonus features. Those documentaries and audio commentaries sound really fascinating. So anyway, uh, that was my look at The Thing. A real horror masterpiece. Uh, just a fantastic film. This is Carpenter in his prime. Uh, really knocking out some fantastic films. Uh, he's made some great, great films. So if you haven't seen the films of Mr. John Carpenter, please go check them out. It's Halloween, so... Go check out his classic films right now. Anyway, that was it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed this one. And uh, once again, uh, remember to check the description to sign up for that uh, Suspiria 4K Steelbook Edition. Because if you do not uh, join the uh, Indiegogo campaign, then it's never going to come to fruition. So anyway, uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Catch you in the next one. Uh, and if I don't hear from you, have a very happy Halloween. Bye.